Okay, good morning. This one I want to show you is um, something I use at the school district to manage multiple computers um, at a certain level. So, for instance, let's say we have a computer over at um, another classroom or school and I need to allow someone to be able to remote in. Now by default our domain doesn't allow um, our group policies don't allow anybody to, to remote in. So but what I can do then is get on the local machines computer management. And a couple ways you can do that. First, you got to bring it up on your local machine. For instance, you can go um, right click on computer and click on uh, manage. And this brings up computer management. The way I always get to it, because it, to me it's just faster, is type computer mgmt.msc. See up here, it automatically shows it. So um, let's go ahead and hit enter. Actually, since I clicked off of it, okay. So here, here we go. Now, um, what you notice here is local. This is saying right now, computer man management is connected to the to the local machine. Um, what we want to do is change that to a, a different computer. So you right click on computer management, and click on connect to another computer and here I'm gonna type in the other computer name which I'll just do the MacBook that's sitting here it's actually running Windows 7 it's not part of the domain but it still works so I do C Davis hyphen Mac that's the computer name for it so and give it a second and where to go there we go um, now this one since it is going over that to that Mac it does act a little funky so I'm gonna give it a second uh, there we go so now we're connected to the Mac or the Windows 7 running on Mac. And under System Tools, you can look at Event Viewer, um, Task Scheduler for this machine, Shared Folders, you know, um, depending on what, what you got available. But the one I want to show you is this Local Users and Groups. Um, what I would end up doing is clicking on Groups, go over to Remote Desktop Users, double click, ignore that one. And what I would do is add a domain name, uh, domain username to this list such as let's just do um, C Davis and apply that and that would then it's just giving me problems because it's not part of my domain then that user that domain user would have access such as a, a student or a teacher would have remote access to this computer and it'd be temporary until the machine restarts because after it restarts it would um, uh, reset the group policy so cool little Cool little way of doing, it. and there's there's other things you can manage. Uh, I think the disk management, all kinds of stuff in there. So have fun.